Hi there, it's Mike Thornton from Pro Tools Expert and in this video we're going to take a look at the new metering package from Isotope called Insight. Now Insight started out life as the meter bridge module in Ozone Advanced but the guys at Isotope have developed this into a one-stop standalone metering plugin. But good news for you Ozone 5 Advanced owners, you'll get this free as well. So as you can see from the display, there are a number of different metering and visualization tools within Insight. So let's start with the levels and we can maximize the levels module by simply pressing on that plus sign. And what we have here on the left hand side is a conventional RMS and peak level meter system. The bright area is the RMS, the slightly dimmer area is the peak level and then we have a peak hold meter represented by the bar. And this metering system can either be RMS and peak, or it can also display the K system algorithm from Bob Katz. So that's the RMS and peak level metering section. On the right hand side here, we have what is becoming a conventional set of meters for the new BS 1770 loudness standard. We have a momentary loudness meter looking at the loudness over the last few hundred milliseconds, a short term loudness meter looking at the loudness averaged over the last few seconds, and then an integrated meter which is displaying the loudness over the whole program. So that's the loudness meter module. Next we can have a look at the loudness history which obviously is linked to the loudness meter but is now displaying in a graphical representation where the meters have been. So you can look back over the program across the timeline here and see where the loudness has been. So if I just maximize that we can see here that the gray trace is showing the short term loudness the green trace is showing the integrated and it's also showing here that the integrated loudness went over the loudness spec for a period of time and so went red. We can also display the momentary loudness if we need to, but that can get a little bit uh, messy as you can see, but you can have a look at it if you need to. There is a conventional copy data so you can export the loudness history as a CSV file. Uh, and bring that into a spreadsheet. You can also click this button and produce a snapshot of the screen. Both of these to help prove compliance within the broadcast production chain. But there's an extra additional feature that is unique to Insight. So if I just reduce the size of the meter module for a moment, you can see here now on the master track that Insight is actually writing automation into my timeline. So there are a number of options that Insight can write to. The loudness overflow, so this is the point at which the loudness may well go into the red. And so this is a, a sort of like, like the mute, it's either on or it's off. We then have the integrated loudness figure, so the I meter shown as an automation lane so we can see at any point exactly what the integrated loudness was for the program at that point. So the great thing about these automation options is it enables us to look actually on the timeline of our project to see exactly what went wrong and where rather than having to look at spreadsheets and data and time codes and trying to establish where the issues were. So that's a really, really neat little feature that is only available in Insight. I've not seen it in any other loudness metering system. So that's our loudness history. Next, we'll take a look at the uh, Spectrum Analyzer. So we'll maximize that. And so we have what is probably a fairly conventional Spectrum Analyzer. We can change the scales if we need to. Uh, and if I bring up the Options window, and we look at the Spectrum Analyzer tab, we can also display it in a different range of spectrum types. So we've got third octave here, we've got critical, we've got octave analyzing, and then we've got linear. And we've also got the options for peak hold. And then if I hover over here, and then look at the top right hand corner of the screen, you'll see that we get a readout for both frequency and level, which is another neat little feature which helps us to analyze what problems might be going on.
So that's our spectrum analyzer module. Next, we can look at the spectrogram module. And this is can either be in 2D mode, in which case it's probably fairly familiar to anybody using RX. And in fact, if we go into the tab on the options window for spectrogram, I can even set it so that it produces the color scheme that we know and love from Isotope RX. But there are a range of other colors as well. So you can choose whichever one works best for you. That's the 2D spectrogram, but now within Insight we have a 3D option which allows us to take a look at the material in 3D. So if I just increase the height a little bit, you can start to see some of the more some more of the detail. And not only can I look at it in this way, but using these buttons here, I can spin it round and take a look at different views and if I'm not happy with any of those I can actually right click and move it around look on top look above so you can really start to see where the audio issues may be occurring so that's a really neat feature and then there's this meter taps feature and I'm just going to switch out of this particular Pro Tools session into another one to show you how that works what I've done here is you can put meter taps in tracks or in subgroups and allocate them different colors. And so now what we're looking at is with the 3D spectrogram, we're looking at different elements of my mix. And by choosing different colors, we can see how they interrelate to each other. And in fact, if we look underneath, you can even see how they relate to each other right way through the audio level and through the spectrum. So a really neat little feature with the meter taps. Back into our other project. And so that's a, a quick whistle top tour through the spectrogram module. Finally, we'll take a look at the sound field module. So at the moment, we're looking at it in stereo mode, and we have this lovely display here, which gives a very, very clear indication of stereo sound field, together with a balance meter, which gives us an indication where in the sound image the listener will feel the sound is coming from. We then also have this correlation meter down the right-hand side, uh, with the, bar the bright line showing the instantaneous figure, the correlation between the left and right-hand channels, and then the lighter green area giving us indication of history. If we get down into the bottom half, this is, this is giving us an indication that there may well be significant out of phase components which we may need to look at. But if we go into surround mode, now you can see that we have this uh, green sort of jellyfish type line which gives us indication of both level and also where in the sound field the surround sound field the sound is coming from and then we have this dot here which gives an indication of where the listener will perceive the sound is coming from so if we just restart this particular project you can see now that we have a specific sound on the right hand axis now in the right surround channel and so you can see as this little dot dances around that we get this indication that surround sound is coming from different directions. And these red lines here, these are a little like the correlation meters, and basically giving us an indication that we've gone beyond that sort of midway point on the correlation meter. And again, we may need to look at some phase issues within the surround image. So that's the sound field meter. But for me, the best part of the Insight plugin is the Presets Manager. And so within the Presets Manager, they've provided us with uh, a set of default presets uh, fol organized in folders. So there's a whole section of presets that are great for audio analysis. So we can look. So here we have a spectrum analysis preset, which gives us a 3D on one side and the spectrum analyzer on the other side. We could have a look at low frequency analysis. So again, we've got 3D, but it's been zoomed in at just the low frequencies, as has the spectrum analyzer. So a range of different analysis presets. And then we can move on to the music production presets. And so we can have a look at that dynamics analysis. So we've got the level meter, we've got the sound field meter, and we've got the loudness history or running we could have a look at frequency levels. So here we have uh, 
a 2D spectrogram with a range of different color choices to display the different frequencies and also the spectrum analyzer and loudness meter. So you can see that there's a wide range of different presets but obviously working in the broadcast sector and working with loudness metering, this section for me is absolutely brilliant because they've taken the trouble to work through and create presets for all the different loudness standards. And what I've done here is because I tend to work with EBUR128 is I've actually moved some of their standard presets and brought them into a folder. And so we have the standard presets here. I've gone on to create some presets. So when I'm working with stereo program content for the BBC, I now have this preset, which gives me loudness, loudness history, and a stereo sound field meter. You can just simply have a simple loudness meter for the EBU R128. So again, that's just the level meters. So just with one click within the presets, we've reconfigured both the way the meters are displayed and also the settings within the meters. So at the moment, this is EBU R128. If I now look at the simple loudness meter for the USA, it's the same window, it's the same display, but the target settings have changed because the A85 standard for America is different to the EBU R128 standard. So for me, the presets manager is the absolute core to the Insight metering plugin module. So if we go back to the full set of modules. So hopefully that's given you a really good indication of what Insight can do for you. And if it's whetted your appetite, then I do commend you go to the Isotope site and download the demo and try it out for yourself. And also watch out for my Groove 3 Insight Explained tutorial series that will be out very soon. Hope this has been helpful for you and I'll see you again in another video.